All right. Hello, everybody. Zaxter99 back with another First Impressions review. This time we're looking at Bicycle Rider Simulator. And it looks like a pretty cool little biking game where you're biking, uh, you know, like on trails and cross country even out in the woods. Looks pretty fun. And the game comes in at only three dollars and 99 cents so the 20 percent discount right now it is a regular five dollar price tag u.s currency and looks like this developer demios deb has a couple of titles to his name now okay freelance life simulator came out in 2021 and game shop simulator this game here has uh yeah mixed reviews not even half the reviews are positive both games kind of look like asset flips if i'm not lying but that's what we're here to find out guys like you know is bicycle simulator worth the five bucks and that's what we hope to find out in this video right now it is getting 92 percent positive reviews we're going to find out with a brutally honest review like i always do what my thoughts are on this title is it worth your five bucks let's find out and we'll do that right after this All right, welcome back, everybody. Not a surprise that it is made in Unity. I'm sure that this game uses Unity Asset Kits. Just saying. All right. We are playing the game. All right, so we start off. We have our games. We already looked at those. So let's go into the settings. Check this out. Motion blur enabled, like a go fuck off. Always, like to any indie developer, do not start your game with motion blur enabled. Make it disabled by default. I'm just saying. Jesus. Fog, everything else. Uh, a lot of different languages to choose from. Okay, that's cool. Graphics. Why is the quality? I have a pretty good fucking computer, I'm just saying. Um, shadow quality low, that's fine. We'll hit apply. The game better run good with what I've said here because otherwise it's very unoptimized. Just saying. Let's just jump in. So we can't start until we choose a character. We have to have 25 gold or money or whatever to unlock the to the moon guy. Okay. Same guy. Just a different shirt and outfit. Dark shorts instead of white shorts. Whatever. Yeah. Selected. Now we gotta choose a bike. Well, not much of a choice there. Style. Again, we just have to go with whatever is available. This one's lock. Next. Uh, we'll just select this one. All right, sorry. So five maps, it looks like. Achievement unlocked. Get on your bicycle. Where's Willy? All right. Space jump. What does it say? View exchange camera view. WASD. Shift to sprint. Okay, let's change Q. Wow, okay. So that's first person. Okay, pause the game. Got it. Whoa. Take me, please? Whoa, 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 whoa. What am I taking? Oh, you just have to hit the target. Okay. We. Alright. Stay on the trail, dummy. We're biking uphill. The game seems to be performing well, 47, 48 frames per second at the ultra setting on overall quality. Just relax and ride. Now it's down to 31, 30. Ah. Okay. Don't crash yourself, please. Okay, we jumped over that. Controls are kind of awkward. Just saying. Uh, we want to pick this up. Okay, we could back up. 
Yeah, we're not on a timer or anything like that, so it's not like we're racing. This is a casual bike ride, right? I don't like that I can't look up in the air. I'll have as much camera control as I would like. But okay. Bum bum. This is fun. We're having it. My video card is going nuts right now. I will say that. Get the fucking money, man. Uh, what happens if I try to push through the rock? Just curious. Okay. So, right here, it looks like there should be a reset button, maybe? Another space is a reset button. There you go. All right. Yeah, R doesn't do anything, by the way. What the hell? Why are you changing the camera on me? I didn't want to do that. A guy looks like he has a constipated face. He's like, oh god, I gotta poop. <laughs> ah. Well, almost. Okay, we got another coin over here. We got some moolah, baby. All right. So I mean, this is the graphics are great and this seems like a pretty cool little game. I just don't really understand where the fun's going to come out with this. Oh, a little critter on that log. I was I was trying to look at Ah, ow! Okay, so now it's R to respawn. Okay. That hurt. Alright. So I guess you're trying to keep from crashing? Ah. Okay. Yeah, I'm surprised it stayed up there. The jumps aren't exactly spectacular in this game. Yeah, I mean, as good as this looks and everything, guys, I just... I don't see how this game's gonna be very much fun for very long. The the physics are kind of awkward, I won't lie. And because the the mountains and everything like that in the background are so blurry, it's not as amazing of an ex bike riding experience as you would think. I mean, I've already turned my graphics to Ultra. I don't think they're going to get any better. Um, and I, even if I could make them better, sometimes I'm dropping down to less than 30 frames per second. So I don't think I'd want to turn anything else up. And I have a pretty capable gaming computer with a 2060 Super. And, yeah. I Yeah, like I say, guys, I just don't... Yeah, I can, I can get some coins, and I can buy a green bike, and I can get dark shorts and, you know, a different t-shirt and stuff like that. But how is that really going to make the game? I'm hitting space if I can jump, but I can't jump over it. Yeah, I'm just not having a lot of fun right now, to be honest. Like I said, maybe it would be worth it if you could see in the background and you had a little more camera control. It might be more like a, you know, a fun... Ow! <laughs> I was trying to go to the left of that log, but I was trying to pass between the log and the and the, uh, the rock. But that wasn't happening. So, this honestly feels like an asset flip, guys. It feels like... Hang on, let me let me check real quick, guys. Okay, guys, so this looks to be an asset flip of this particular Unity biking physics thing. And if we look at this, yep, there we go. This even, I don't know if this includes the maps or anything like that, but this is exactly where he's getting your guy, the bike mechanics. So pretty much he's taking this particular asset kit. And he's probably putting it on some maps that he got on Unity. Because none of this is in this game, I guarantee you. But see where this would be fun here, being able to do all these tricks and stuff like that? We don't have any of that the game we have. So we have this asset pack, but we have all the fun ripped out of it. If we're being completely honest. But overall, this is just an asset very asset-reliant game, 
And it looks like this guy's just ripped all the fun out of that asset kit because there was some fun stuff I was seeing in that asset kit. And I don't even know how to jump because jumping, this is my jump, but I have fucking logs that I can't get over. Yeah. So it looks like this developer has taken an asset kit, a perfectly good asset kit, and torn all the fun out of it. And is selling this at, you know, five bucks, and it's not worth it. Honestly, in my opinion, this isn't worth it. And I'm not going to sit here and ride this bike to try to upgrade the bike to hope that I can jump higher or whatever. Yeah. So you wouldn't exactly call this an asset flip because I'm sure he's taken that asset kit I just showed you. Ripped all the fun out of it, bought his own maps or whatever, bought some more some more mountain maps, and then mashed it all together. That might be why the that might be why the uh, performance is so bad here. But all the mechanics and the wheels spinning there, and my guy, you know, falling down and stuff like that. That's all just ripped out of the the main asset kit I already showed you. A simple bicycle physics game. So. I don't recommend this game, guys, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, it's not worth the five bucks. Uh, and even if you're looking at the graphics and stuff like that, well, you can't see the mountains and you can't see the background that well. It's all blurry. And all you're seeing is your guy. So, no. This is not a recommend. I mean, I appreciate what the developer's trying to do. This is better than your typical asset flip. But I also think having fun is important in a game. And this game just isn't fun, uh, in my opinion. And I'm sure you can figure out ways to get over those logs or whatever. But even then, I just don't see this game being very much fun. I don't see there being much challenge. Like, what I want to do, if I'm playing a bicycle game, right? What I want to do is I want... I want this part right here. This. This is what would make this game fun. This stuff here. And all this looks like it's been completely ripped out of this asset kit. And all we're left with is a leisurely bike ride in the mountains. Yeah. And uh, enjoy birdsong, dense forest, and stuff like that probably already included in these maps. So a big no. So, I mean, if, let's take a look here, guys. Bicycle. Watch your ride bicycle game. What is this? Yeah, here we go. Now, if you're wanting... Look at this. Now, this looks like fun. Yeah, the graphics aren't quite as, you know, beautiful or whatever. But this looks like fun times 10 over what we just played. This looks like a fun little game and a game that I might have to review. Not only that, but this game has online PvP as well. And this game looks like fun. And it's only $7.99. Came out last year by Teeny Magicians. And right now it has 82% positive reviews. So if I'm looking back at the last game, guys, Bicycle Rider Simulator, it, one thing that kind of makes me feel uneasy about this game as well is all these Russian reviews here that look fake as hell. Like, here we go with a negative. Yeah, same. it's the same asset pack I just showed you. Yeah, these reviews just come off as being fake as fuck. So... Yeah, I mean, a review that says, this is a good simulator for uh, bicycle driving. 37 hours. Full fucking shit. Nobody has played this game 37 hours. So somebody just left the fucking game running in the browser while they were sleeping a few days. And just all these reviews could just come off as fake as fuck. And uh, probably purchase reviews or whatever. Review manipulation. This game just isn't fun, guys, and that's my honest opinion. Whether those reviews are fake or not doesn't really matter. The game's boring as fuck. If you're looking for a good bicycle game, guys, honestly, I may have to play this one here soon. Watch your ride. Just from watching the trailer, it looks like it's ten times as much fun. So, there you guys go. This is what I would recommend spending your money on instead. But hey, that's just me. And I'll put up a review of this video here, or this game here soon. Because this one looks good. Anyway, be sure you comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. This has been Zach's 39. Have a good one. Take care.